Martin Tugwell, thanks for joining us here at the Highways UK event. Uh, obviously, you're Programme Director at the Strategic Alliance, and you, you're, you're calling for a devolution revolution. Um, I suppose, how is your Strategic Alliance and the local authorities, uh, Bedfordshire uh, uh, and Northamptonshire, Buckingham, how is that helping? So what it's doing, it's providing leadership. Mm -hmm. When we look at what the um, evidence comes back from the business community, it's an area of economic success, mm -hmm. but it's got even more potential. And what the business leaders are saying to us, they want strategic leadership, right. delivering a transport system, not a series of networks, yeah. a transport system. Yeah, because it is about leadership. Leadership is the key to this entire thing. Absolutely, and it's coming from the political leadership mm -hmm. of, of the, the Alliance partners. That's the yeah. three county councils and the four unitary authorities yeah. across the area. But you also talk about the need to radically reimagine the road network. I mean, how do you, why, why do you say that? So what we're looking for is we need to recognise that the road network is serving a purpose. It's serving businesses, it's serving us as residents and individuals. Yeah. So we need to think about what are we trying to achieve, mm -hmm. what are the outcomes we're right. trying to look for, and make sure that we work together right. to deliver that. This is about customer focus. Very much. It's about the end user. It's yeah. about the end user. And recognising that as users of transport, mm -hmm. consumers of transport, we use all different types of transport every single day. Yeah. But of course, there's a huge focus at the moment about the four billion pounds spend of the highways England's got. Uh, big focus on what they're doing, where, how they're changing. Um, they're only a very small part of the overall highways network. Does that focus matter? So I think the first thing to say is that Highways England, having that clarity is really helpful because they have yeah. a longer term framework they can plan with it. What we're asking for is at a sub-national level, let us have the same. Because if we've mm -hmm. got some clarity about what uh, funding is available for the next five years, maybe an indication for the five years beyond that, yeah. we can do the same sort of planning. We can work with Highways England, we can work with the private sector, mm -hmm. we can start adding that together and making a, uh, the, the sum bigger than the whole part. Not so long ago you were running the transport catapult looking into transport systems and technology. Mm -hmm. uh, technology's got a huge part to play in driving this customer focus. Are we getting there? I think we've got opportunities to do more. Mm -hmm. um, what we've got, particularly in the Heartland area, is, is a lot of talent, a lot of entrepreneurial talent, a lot of mm -hmm. talent coming out of the, the uh, ed education and higher education facilities. We just need to unleash that. Yeah. And one way to unleash that is to be very clear about what the challenges are, which is where the public sector needs to do the yeah. provision, and then open up the data and allow the entrepreneurs to yeah. let rip. Have we got the right skills on board? Have we, have we got the right supply chain uh, involved in the, in the delivery at the moment? I'm pretty confident that if we have the, the vision, if we have the clarity, mm -hmm. the supply chain right. will respond to that. You also talk about having a, um, I suppose, a, a view from above. Uh, I mean, what do, you, what, what do you describe by this view from above? Where, is, is, this, um, is this view from above coming from uh, more from central government? or is it, How do you describe your view from above? The view from above is the fact that there are political leaders who are, cust are used to working at a strategic level, who yeah. are able to take a step back and say, look, within the context of what we know, there is a bigger picture. Yeah. We can provide the structure and the strategic view, which we can then go away and do the local stuff, but we can provide that overview, and we can use that overview to engage with government through a single conversation. Finally, I suppose, are we actually moving towards a situation where the highways of this country are managed um, with a slightly more professional, a slightly more long-term view of asset management? So we've certainly got to make sure that we maintain uh, the asset. Um, and, uh, I mean, rightly, there's a lot of focus around the investment and new development, but we have to remember the vast majority of traffic, the vast amount of pressure comes from existing business, existing uh, residents. Yeah. So maintaining the asset, really, really important. And it's actually what often affects individuals' perspective of our success as a transport industry. Yeah. Martin, thanks very much. Exciting time ahead of the industry. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you very much.